to another live stream. Hold on one second. There you go. I had to adjust my uh, my uh, uh, stream thing real quick. Welcome to another live stream of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Go ahead and adjust Welcome this as well. Muting you. At least we know my mic is working. Today we're going to be making some serious story progress. And I think we're actually going to open up with uh, doing this breaking news thing to get the new ability for uh, Otag Bombs. I was actually approached by someone before I started streaming who was a line adder and uh, he offered me to uh, essentially revise and edit my uh, drafts of my story so I'm finished uh, with my project so when I finish writing my novel I'm actually going to be presumably going through him to edit my document. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Alexander. Uh, I'm doing fine. I uh, just a little bit tired. Had a hard time sleeping last night. Keep on uh, waking up at one o'clock in the morning after falling asleep at ten or eleven. Then I spend uh, pretty much the rest of the morning just falling asleep in. Just trying to stay awake in general. Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Darek keeps sending into coaxing. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working on something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant should the need arise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Oh, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the fuzz. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Uh, no, I don't watch football. Pretty much the only sport I watch is esports. Hey, 
I actually kind of like this mission. Yeah, let's see what's next. I just kind of like this mission. Esports is cool too. Uh, hold on. Uh, Esports is cool too. I'm pretty competitive most of the time when playing online. Yeah, it's just kind of fascinating. I've been watching like a lot of Overwatch esports. I'm actually really behind. I'm like a year behind like in the current season. But uh, I've been watching like a lot of Overwatch esports. I used to be really big in Overwatch, but it's just kind of fascinating to see professional players just play the game like much better than I could. Jacob, your mere presence gave me the courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I found myself rather witty too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Sarek's propaganda machine, shall we? Okay, hey, what's next? Oh, sorry. Honestly, that mission is kind of fun. I take on like that one. <laughs> they barely use those uh, team bombs at him. The longer we can keep Starrick from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people to the truth about his operations. Let's get to it then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that shooting stuff? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious brat. Good on you, Alec. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fistwife's profanity to Billingsgate. <laughs> oh, I keep on wanting to say something, but I keep on getting interrupted by a dialogue. I stun them. You sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. And hopefully this one won't be too bad. It looks like it is a stealth mission. So many carriages on the road.
There you go. And now we just have to defend Bell. What's next? I'm actually, uh, I think my things are kind of starting to look up for me, if I can be honest here. Uh, ever since I, I've, I've been kind of finding, like, a little bit more support uh, for my novel projects in general. And uh, I think it's actually very possible that uh, we uh, maybe publish within the next uh, couple months. Like it's so many, like depending on how long it takes for the editing process to be finished. Uh, it could be possible that my book could be published uh, relatively soon. Book that I'd literally been writing since like 2018 is finally almost uh, just surreal. These guys are just so dumb. And they, they're not even alerted to me. Like, they just already walked to their desk. My dears, Jacob Evie. Thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. But no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> and hundred percent sync, nice. If you hear dogs barking, that's my dogs are just being idiots. And like barking downstairs and I just can't really get them to stop with these. Guess we can do rubber topping. I'm assuming rubber topping is gonna be is gonna unlock like the fight club and stuff and maybe the races as well When we get to the main story missions, we're actually going to start with Eevee's first because Eevee is probably the ones that interest me the most. Uh, so we're going to do Eevee's uh, main missions before we do Jacob's. But we kind of, we kind of want to do like the uh, side missions first. I don't really mind Jacob's assassination mission missions. Just uh, I kind of like prefer Eevee's. Like Eevee's, in my opinion, is more fun.
No, it wasn't me, not you. Beg your pardon. You, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. Is this a prize fight you think? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Poppet. Best bookie in all of London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Gollum's a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Can we even do any of this? I was gonna say the cage, the uh, prize fighting for. Uh, oh, this is easy. Yeah, it's level two. Dude, that's brutal. I love it. Honestly, if if all the fighting is just gonna be like this easy, I'm assuming it's gonna get difficult over time. Yeah, let's keep going. Next fight. There is an achievement uh, for uh, getting, I think it's, it involves like both prize fighting, but the, as well as racing, as well, uh, I don't think about it. I was going to say, I think there is a, a achievement uh, for uh, getting like 10 skills. I honestly don't, I think I'm like 40% through that achievement, I'm be 30%. I hope I don't have to farm that. I keep on seeing that uh, progression of the thing pop up in the bottom left, and it just... I don't know if I watch a farm for skills at one point. Almost got absolutely stunning though. Good fight, my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Looks like we get champion. excuse me, had a little uh, hiccup. Looks like we get like four canes and a recipe. We have a race here. I think I'm actually gonna save the races. Level two as well. I may as well like do that one. I think I'm gonna save the races until you get a specific like gang upgrade. Look at all these fight clubs.
Uh, you know what? We can try the race. Uh, we'll try it. That's all that happened is I'll lose how to do it again. I also do want to check something. Yeah, we need to win three different fire clubs for one. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, perform 50 multi-finishers. That's going to be a pain to get. I've never done a race or a fight club in this game prior to the stream So it, it'll be kind of interesting to see because so far the fight clubs have really seen that bad But it'll be interesting for me to, uh, to see like how the racing works because Racing can either be like a really easy mini game or really hard mini game depending on how the developers designed it like to use an example, there are some racing games where programmers introduce like slingshot mechanics Where if you get ahead of uh, Someone and you start to gain distance to them the person behind you will get Faster than they should really like, be able to travel and they'll be able to like catch up to you like in no time And then once they pass you they'll slow down and allow you to pass them So with games racing games in my opinion with slingshot mechanics are actually more difficult than uh, games without it. So if this racing thing has slingshot mechanics, then this could be like a somewhat of a difficult thing. But if it's just like normal AI, uh, it's just normal AI against uh, against you with no like additional help for the uh, with no additional help uh, to help them win, then hopefully it'll be. Uh, Hopefully it won't be that bad. Come on, catch up. I think we're gonna have to wait until after we uh, get a certain upgrade from the gang upgrades to uh, to do the rest of these races. There's a gang upgrade that will uh, increase the health of these carriages. Once we get that, we should be able to handle these just fine.
I'm not gonna do it. I lost it. But I have to come back to that. Congratulations on your victory. Dude, that wasn't a victory. I lost. That was second place. Anything less than se anything less than first is second. Anything less than first, I should say, is last. We'll come back to that later. So I think there are a couple getting upgrades we can get. That will boost. Uh, where is it? Do I already have it? I may already have it. I thought there was an uh oh wait, wait, wait is it under skills? It is under skills. Okay, so what I need is driver two, and I need driver six, a uh, demolition derby. Uh, so that's uh, two things we need to get. Okay, so we'll come back to that once we get those skills. In the meantime, I kind of want to do the main mission now. I uh, not the main mission, but the uh, the mark uh, another mission. Come on, get out. I'm pushing up. Thank you. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this Karl Marx mission. I get in there well let me climb over the railing oh there's stairs Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. What do you expect? 
shouldn't we at least talk about these things first? Sod it. We accept. <laughs> Is it sound the police? I'm just going to go ahead and reset it. I don't think I was supposed to go to the roof. Okay. Do not like all these cops. Way too many in this restricted area. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's uh go locate the spy. My back is really starting to hurt right now. That's just my back is at the base of my neck. But I'm gonna keep going.
Oh shit. I didn't realize there was an optional objective. Okay, now what does the option objective say? It doesn't tell me. There you go. Follow Marks to the meeting. I believe our work here is complete. Come, let's slip away and get to the meeting. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly desire. Might I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? We may yet meet Help! with some mischief. Help! Don't want anyone! <laughs> okay, we're probably gonna get into a huge brawl. We'll get there fairly soon, Chief Sam. Don't you worry. It seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. I just want to check to see if there's no uh, cops nearby, and then just gonna leave this on. Really kind of wish you can uh, walk faster when you're kidnapping someone. Just probably just probably just think that because I'm very impatient. But it would be nice. Is this where I killed? I think it is where I killed that guy. Uh, that uh, somebody that I killed him. This is where that bounty hunt thing was. If I am in South Work, which I think I am. 
I'm already south of Warwick. I think that's the city of London, maybe. Finding my son, what the rest should we do with him? Has the party not taken care of you? Doctor, for no sake. Any man will join the union if he put out a word for his son. How, how long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My father's broken down. Please, God. I thank you, my son. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle one day. It's weird I was cut off. And let's see what we have available. We have another Mark's mission here. We have another one in South Work. Yes, yeah, so I guess we're doing some more Karl Marx missions. I want. I guess it wasn't in. Uh, I guess I was in uh, Whitechapel. I want to go and uh, get uh, recycling supplies. Let's go and refill all. And let us do this Karl Marx mission. A lot of people, one of the major criticisms, I brought this up in the past, but one of the major criticisms I've heard about this game is this game like having too many historical figures introduced in the series, in the, uh, in the game. I don't really find the historical figures to be that egregious I guess you could say they're fine they're entertaining they're their own like unique charm uh I do kind of wish that uh I don't know like, maybe like it would be more interesting if they're more involved in the story instead of just mostly being relegated to side quests that's what I kind of wish Hey, Guy Marks, what you got for me? A grieving worker plots threat of violent revenge involving some Templar explosives. Some people for someone gets hurt. My poor friend, Frank Morris. His son dropped dead of exhaustion after finishing an 18 hour shift. Frank is consumed by grief. He blames the government for refusing to protect the rights of the worker. I can't blame him for his rage, but I fear his actions are going too far. He plans to steal a shipment of nitroglycerin and use it to attack the Houses of Parliament. Killing people and destroying property solves nothing. Democracy is the only road to socialism. Please stop him before he gets himself or anyone else killed. I expect he's on his way into the city of London now. Let's go. Bloody perfect. Let's deal with this before Morris shows up. Yeah. 
You fucking suck. I forget how you I'm just gonna go ahead and we start checkpoints. I forget how you like climb to the roof. Options, control schemes, vehicle, uh, let's see, get on roof is LB. Great driving, but it got the job done. Bloody perfect. Let's deal with this before Morris shows up. Flip a pursuing carriage. I'm assuming that means by shooting the horse. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we're almost there. Not there. Who are these people? People who don't like you stealing their toys. We're trapped in here unless you ascend and deal with them.
got the nitro back. That must please you. Not even close. You knew where to find that cart. You must have been tracking shipments for weeks. Tell me where that supply was headed. I might be able to assist you. Find me in Southwark when you're ready. Yeah, that's fun. You got everything sync. Okay, yeah, I want to uh want to restock on supplies and then we'll do another Karl Marx mission. Uh it's level six. It should be a while, right? Yeah, Okay, so we, uh, I'm hoping that, actually, just go ahead and check the progression log, progress tracker, associate activity, not associate activity, learn stories, Carl and Mark, so we have three left. the shipment but we must go now there's a carriage on the next corner if we hide within they'll drive us right to it i'll hide inside it you're going home home back to the fold and seam stripper i wear for black gloves bought a weed on my hat for a year they'll return to the factory like a small cog in the great wheel of capital no i want justice i must have those exposures i didn't realize i was timed ones get to live at least until they drive you to this factory and not mean to do that trying to hide in there ones get to live at least until they drive you to this factory okay you gonna go You're just gonna mark all these guys. A 
I'm sorry, but my need is greater than you know. these crates before anyone else gets any bright ideas. I can't freaking fire my gun. Okay. In combat. I'm holding that trigger to aim is not doing anything. You have to wait until they reset. Come on, go back to the nitroglycerin. Okay.
Okay, now we just need to blow up one more crate. Trying to get one more kill off these guys. Okay. It's like we have one more on the roof. And we're done. So that's me to car marks now. Thank you for preventing a greater tragedy. I represent Sink. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and fast travel here. Go restock and supplies, and then we'll do the next car march mission. I believe it's the final one. At least I'll unlock the final one. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and head over here and grab three stocking supplies. Okay, let's go ahead and do when there where there is smoke.
number of people injured by their machinery cannot be calculated, and yet the company continues to prosper. They must be stopped for the sake of the poor workers they abuse. If only we had some form of proof. There must be records of the accidents on their inside, which would surely prove their malfeasance. I should think you'd need to find the foreman. But how are you convincing to give you the reports? Perhaps if you think the factory's on fire, you might bluff your way past it. Here is us in the guard. There you go. Okay, and ignite. Come on, ignite. Come on, ignite. the reports. Your masters won't be happy if their accounts go up in smoke. Mother of God, you're right. Follow me, quickly. Okay, let's go. I honestly thought we had to kill him. Percent sink. That was an easy one. Looks like we have one more Karl Marx mission here in Fox Populi. Something populous. I can't remember what that slash in front of me. Look it up. It's gonna bother me if otherwise. What does Fox Populi? The opinions or beliefs of the majority. That's what it means.
Dude, that was smooth. Look at all these fire trucks on the streets. I'm so relieved to have found you. I fear the upcoming meeting is going to be disrupted. Strike breakers, maybe, or police spies. Rati and Keith fear the march's progress. Huh. So I'm bodyguarding them. Marvelous. I worry that any agitation will incite terrible violence. So please remove troublemakers without attracting any attention. Wunderbar. Thank you. I must prepare, but I will see you inside shortly. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go back. Okay, hopefully we have more than enough time to finish this. And last one.
Yeah, this should be the last one. Okay, just want to get this guy over here so we can kill him out of sight, out of mind. Dude. You've done a great service for the workers of London. I'm confident the reforms we seek cannot be far over the horizon. I don't suppose you formally joined the workers' body. I'm not much for politics. He's not much for anything that requires deep thought. Does that mean you'll join, Comrade Evie? I'm afraid I have other responsibilities. Honorary memberships, perhaps. You don't give up, do you? We seem to have that in common. I'll be the same, my friends. Okay, well, that's done. That was honestly kind of annoying. Oh, we got the cutter wine. Oh, it's not uh, crimson, which I thought it was. They're over wine. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the EV mission next. Yeah, 100% of Karl Marx. Actually, before we do the EV mission, let's do the last train hideout one. I think the train hideout was level uh, six mission or level five somewhere around there. Should be able to do the train hideout one now. Oh my god, that wine color makes that outfit look so cool. Just white, just red and gold. A letter. 
There's Ned Weiner. Hey, hello, Mr. Gatling. Hold out the rival gang and want their Gatling gun back. You should see what's waiting for you at White Chapel Station. Nigel wants to make up for things, so he bought you a gift. I think I did this mission before. I thought I didn't do this a uh, much of the side missions in I first played through this game, but this mission title sounds familiar. Oi, Mr. Fry, come have a look at this. Ain't she a beauty? Mixed it up the gang across town, got them all stewed, and then took it when they was asleep. <laughs> Here's one, let me show you. It's jumped. Oh, shit. So he did not take any damage. Three. Okay, this should be the last one. There we go. We need to get a little bit further on. This is really fun.
Okay. Shoot, destroy the dynamite crate. Too bad we can't keep that. That's a fun mission. And hundred percent sync. Nice. Okay, so now we should be 48% done. Go to progress tracker, London stories. We have now finished the uh, train hideout mission, which is nice. And I can't wait to Evie when I'm on the train. Then let us go ahead and just Evie here. I need to check uh, skills first. I have 18 skill points. Uh, I want to get a million. Want to get Knife Master. What else do I want? I guess SQ would be good, or alternatively. You can go and spend all my skill points. I wonder how this outfit will look. Oh, we have a, oh, it's again, I'm marking this stuff we already knew about. I wonder how this outfit will look with the uh, color of wine on it. Actually, looks pretty good. I'll put that on. Here. And now I have an upgrade for Eevee. Yeah, let's go and do this mission. Oh, we get an outfit from this. I need Melwin's gown.
Uh, before we do that, let's uh, go ahead and uh, go over here to this uh, shotter stock. Something really kind of troubling is happening recently. Apparently, Ubisoft as a company has actually kind of been in like a lot of trouble, which is kind of unfortunate. This revelation just kind of like came up like after they pushed the delay, delayed the release date of Assassin's Creed Shadows, which I was really disappointed with. So really looking forward to that game, but they pushed it back to February. And really since then, like there's been like so much information, like the board of directors are reportedly uh, looking into investigating the conduct held by uh, Ubisoft. Some of the investors are pulling their funding after the delay of uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. And it just kind of makes me wonder about like the future of that company as a whole because I want to really like that game. I want to look forward to that game. I want to, I mean, like a huge Ubisoft fan. Like there's so many of their games that I absolutely love. But if their company goes underwater, then what's going to happen to Assassin's Creed? What's going to happen to Far Cry? I mean, it's possible that someone could buy the rights to the IP, but... I don't know. That definitely just makes me, like, really kind of concerned as Assassin's Creed and Far Cry fan. So the hints you found in the Kenway house lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time, following me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh yes, Mr. Green, that's a fascinating idea. Oh please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but... I'm busy protecting the assassin. Are you really? What was it father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. I'll be ever more pleasant for your absence. Yeah, let's uh, get to the top at long last.
Really hoping I could do that without getting into conflict, but it didn't really pan out that well. That way. And try it again. It's so satisfying that I can do it from up here. There you go. Yeah, let's uh, go to St. Paul's Cathedral. I didn't know you could do a leap of faith while on a zip line. That's actually really cool. I don't think I did that in my first playthrough. Although I don't know if I would have remembered if I did. If I can be perfectly honest here, it's so long ago. And this game came out in 2015, maybe. I think I was like a freshman in college then. Actually, no. Actually, yeah, it's came out in 2015, I think about it. Because uh, Black Pack came out in 2013. Uh, Rogue in Uni came out in 2014, so this game came out in 2015. So there, there, it does, the release date of Assassin's Creed games is just kind of muddied after a while. Really depends on if uh, the Ubisoft player took an extra couple, uh, like an extra year to develop it like they did with Valhalla. Because they kind of pushed Valhalla back a year when it came out and it still really is like a mess. I kind of like a lot of these even missions because they're just kind of like investigating and solving puzzles. Kind of nice fresh fresh air from uh, Jacobs, just like killing things. A lot of the puzzles are just all like dead easy. Okay, we don't have a optional objective yet.
I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. This thing pause puzzle. I don't I don't get it. Fifth gear, sixteen far right gear, sixty nine symbol. Far right gear, triangle symbol. Uh, bottom middle gear backwards E symbol. Then left gear three dots. Middle left gear. I'm doing something wrong. Top. Reach the vault. I have no shame in you looking it up. I had no idea how I was supposed to figure that out on my own. I so I had no clues that I saw, so and I couldn't use Eagle Vision. to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You want to brag to make your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin to hold the power of eternal life and yet be too afraid to use it tell me why is that what you think the shroud offers what I think is no longer your concern <laughs> to counter all of her attacks. Why 
Or she just doesn't attack. Coming with me. I have other plans. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't attack that scare. It's like her AI got broken when I uh, do the smoke bomb. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. Take a look at this Lady Melwin outfit. Ooh, I like that. Unfortunately, I need to use the bathroom really bad, and it's probably gonna take me a few, uh, like a several minutes. So uh, I'm gonna have to end the end the stream right here. Uh, next time we will be finishing sequence. What is it? Sequence five, sequence six. This is sequence five. We will be finishing sequence five next time, and we'll. Probably, uh, well, we may move on to the next district and maybe move on to clear the strand. I haven't decided yet, but that's what we're going to be doing for next time. Sorry, by the way, for the past, for pretty much all the three live streams being two hours long. First stream on Sim Street Pass, I was in a lot of freaking pain because I was having muscle spasms because I pulled muscle on Monday and it just spread to my entire back and it was just not a pleasant experience for me. And then... Saturday is more to me rage quitting because I was upset about something in the game, but I understand what I need to do now going forward So uh, next week I'm gonna make an attempt to stream out the full four hours on Monday on Sa Friday Saturday and Sunday to make it up for You guys it's gonna be a full four hour live stream on all the games in the meantime If you are remotely interested in what to see today all the games I cover on my channel will be for my missing completion I'm going to be streaming uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate yet again next Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time, and hopefully I'll be able to stream until 5. I'm going to be streaming the Sim Street Pass 100% completion on Fridays, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time, and I'm going to be streaming the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for 100% completion on Saturdays, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, just know that I recently uh, put, found out that my uh, Master's Project was published. I want to see some uh, examples of something I've written on Thursdays, 1 p.m. to 3 Pacific Standard Time. I am going to be reading and di discussing my own published work. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Hello, everyone. My name is Zach, and welcome to another post stream session where we go over all of the new entries for the database. Uh, today, we shouldn't have too many new uh, options, new items to go over. You're now almost 50% through the game. We're getting there. The game isn't really that long, as I said before, so I'm not really that concerned with just ending the stream at the two hour mark or really at the hour mark. We'll get it done like soon. It's not going to take us too long to get through this. I'd be surprised if it takes us more than 15 streams. Although that's also taken into consideration the Jack the Ripper DLC. I can remember DLC maybe may take one or two streams. I can't remember how long the DLC is. Go into progression log. We have a new entry in Evie's notebook. Entry four. I'm assuming we'll get entry three uh, with our other mission. There are so many things to relate. I hardly know where to start. And it has been equal parts triumph and failure. It seems that the piece of Eden that Miss Thorne is seeking is a shroud of Eden, which the assassins recovered at some point before they left London. Where that shroud is, or why Miss Thorne seeks it, are still a mystery. I found a series of directions that pointed to a hidden vault within the Kenway house. It was once owned by Edward Kenway, a master assassin, and then passed to his son Haytham, the Grand Master Templar. Uh, one can only imagine the family dinners after the Kenway's time. After the Kenway's time, I should say, at the fam mansion uh, passed out of our uh, family, of our history. Passed out of our... Okay, so that's a typo. Uh, the second R. 
Or so we thought. I traveled uh, there accompanied by Mr. Green, only to find that the house was still is still being occupied by the Templars. Indeed, it seems Miss Thorne has made her made it her principal place of business. For we saw her enter as we arrived, I determined uh, to enter in any case, avoiding a direct confrontation, if at all possible. We found Edward Henry's hidden vault, a secret that has mastery remained hidden for more than a century. Rather unfortunately, Edward Henry's method of concealing the vault involved a player piano that alerted the guards to our presence. Mr. Green and I had the barest amount of time to look around and see the treasures hidden within before we had to flee. I came away with a single piece of paper and a metal disc. This That sounds lo uh, like very little, I know. However, the paper itself tells the story of the London assassins before they were wiped out. Several bullet holes are mentioned, any one of which may might contain valuable information about our history, and the disc promises to unlock a key, a precursor object hidden somewhere in London. How strange, a phrase to unlock a key. I wonder if it is an attempt at a joke on Kenway's part. Given the player piano, I have a little opinion of his sense of humor. We shall have to return to the Kenway Mansion at later times to deal with the Templars in a more final manner and claim the rest of the artifacts inside. In the meantime, the information I recovered points to the desk being a piece of uh, the monument. So I'm heading there to discover what secrets of my hold. Jacob has arrived and seems determined to accompany me, though I have not invited him in. Invited him. And B. I wrote that before I thought I should say we, for Mr. Green was there as well. Who is NB? I know who NB is. And uh, we are often together. I know who NB is. I'm trying to think, like, there's like Ned Weiner, there's Green. It's not Jacob and Eva Fry. I don't know who that is. Carl Marx, date of birth, 515, 5 May, uh, 1818. Born in Trier in what was then the Kingdom of Prussia, Karl Marx was a philosopher, economist, socialist, journalist, and revolutionary socialist. Marx studied at the universities of Bonn and Berlin. Afterwards, he wrote for a radical newspaper in Cologne. He began to work on the theory of the materialist conception of history. In 1843, he moved to Paris, where he continued to write for other radical publications. It was there he met Frederick Engels, who became his friend and a frequent collaborator. After he was exiled, he and his family moved to London in 1849, where he continued to writing and developing his theories about social and economic activity. Joe Pace Turners. Marx published many books during his lifetime, with the most recognizable being Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital, which arguably lay the foundation for our current understanding of the relationship between labor and capital. But perhaps his greatest contribution to society was to inspire millions of young men around the world to grow disastrous neck beards, wear just skinny jeans, and buy loviate? That's a word that's not in my vocabulary. What the heck does that mean? Loviate. Loviate. Definition. To talk at length, especially in an inflated or empty way. That's interesting. Uh, endlessly about the capitalist machine while drinking thimbles of artis artisanal coffee in neighborhoods that cats wouldn't be caught dead pissing in. And just going to go on and mark the tutorials because it's just a, a market as old as new. Yeah, so let's go ahead and fast travel back to this uh, viewpoint to save the game, and we will wrap things up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.